The fragrance of flowers spread only in the direction of the wind, but the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. Yes, today we have such an inspiring personality, Dr. Pratip V. Philip, IPS, DGP, CID, our distinguished alumnus of St. Joseph's College. We are fortunate to have him as our chief guest for our virtual celebration. Dr. Pratip started his career as a bank officer. Through merit, focus and determination, he cleared the civil service exams and achieved the IPS qualification and today has risen to one of the most respectable positions of Director General of Police CB. CID. His designation alone does not do justice to the many conquests he has made throughout the journey as a man of ideas. A senior ranking IPS officer, motivational writer, public speaker, author, and the founder of Friends of Polis, EQ Thinking and Exonomics. He is a rare specimen among the men in Kaki. Passionate about reading, writing, public speaking, and studying the human mind, his inimitable style of functioning and exuberance has won him global recognition and many laurels not only as an IPS officer but for his other pursuits as well. Dr. Prati has authored several books. His collection of 3,333 copyrighted quotes which he calls Philippisms has made him the world's first author to collate the largest number of original quotes. Sir, you are a person who embraces challenges, believe in continuous effort. Indeed, your work ethics is a true reflection that inspires everyone to achieve the pinnacle. We are grateful to you for courteously and gladly accepting our invitation to be the chief guest of this important occasion of our school. We extend a affable welcome to you, sir. There are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation and hard work and learning from failure. Very meaningful quote, Mercy. This reminds me about Philippisms, 333 maxims to maximize your life. A record-breaking book authored by Dr. Prateep V. Philip IPS. An eminent personality, a man of wisdom, unwavering, and achieve this for the day. Great! I'm eager to listen to him. Principal Father Rohan Dalmaida, the Rector, Reverend Father Joseph Ignatius Rodriguez, faculty, staff, and above all, dear students of St. Joseph's School CBSE. It's indeed a great privilege and pleasure for me to be here on the occasion of your sixth annual day. Annual days are truly memorable days, especially in the minds of the prize winners. But today I would like to address every student and not just the prize winners. I want to speak on the subject of hope in a time of crisis. In a time of worldwide crisis of the current pandemic, when there is so much of depression, so much of cynicism and the fear of the unknown. In this book, which I recently released in my alma mater, St. Joseph's College, is called Philippisms. One of the Philippisms with which I begin the chapter on hope is, hope in a time of suffering is the healing balm of the soul. 
so hope acts as a healing balm it has a calming effect on our mind on our soul without hope we cannot have a sense of joy but in order to have hope one needs to also have courage confidence and faith back in school we lived by this motto faith and toy and this was such an empowering motto that over the last many decades more than four and a half decades of my practical life after i left school i found that this is a very practical ideal that faith is what gives us that sense of courage and hope and confidence enables us to toy at whatever we are aiming i am really indebted to my teachers in st joseph's particularly a vice principal i remember father raskina back in school in 7th standard as soon as he came to one of our classes i think it was a moral science class i do not know if you have moral science classes these days or do you call it value education or even that is not any longer dealt with in school curriculum but as soon as he entered the class he started with this chinese proverb aim for the stars and you will hit the tree top and at that point in time that particular chinese proverb inspired me so much i was at the time an unknown quantity i had not excelled in any field i had not stood first in any class or in any endeavor whether games or extracurriculars and yet that single sentence aim for the stars and you hit the tree tops so inspired me that i began to lift my aim higher than my ability level so do not be restricted by your level of ability your correct level of ability if you raise your aim automatically with the faith that you have in god and yourself you will get the resources the ability also to pursue that aim your paradigm will shift so even in this current pandemic this is a time when crisis should test our strength it is only in a time of crisis that our character is really tested and i wrote a philippism just the other day that the best are tested and the rest are rested so there is no point in being rested in life we need to constantly face challenges and each of us need to challenge our status quo what we were before this we need to get better than what we were a day before or a year before in any field and every field all round excellence that should be the pursuit of every student of st joseph's school cbsc and you will find that lord star will so empower you that your abilities itself will be transformed your values will take on a new shape and character and you will develop that kind of resilience which faith brings and that will enable you to perspire to sweat it out to wait and work until you achieve your goal and even if you don't achieve your goal even in failure you will find strength and to move forward to a new height to try again and this is another philippism that i wrote be at it to beat it we got to keep trying never give up all the greats of western years including scientists like thomas alva edison he did 10000 experiments how to discover the electric bulb he tried with different kinds of materials and filaments which failed but the 10000th time he succeeded God rewards even scientists with breakthroughs when he sees the level of their faith and their persistence. And that is why you do not achieve anything in the first attempt. It is always on a subsequent attempt that most people achieve their goals in life. So with this message, I want to thank the principal Father Rohan Dalmaida for having given me this pleasure and privilege of joining you on this great day 
the annual day of St. Joseph's CBSE. I wish Reverend Father Rector Joseph Ignatius Rodriguez SJ, the members of the faculty and all the students a wonderful days in the years ahead. Thank you.